Hello and welcome to Path of Exile, Necropolis League. Let's set this up for the live stream. It's the evening time when we're going to do a live stream. And ask any question. Ask any questions. Enjoy. There we go. Just getting that first comment question on there. And let's put that perfectly up there. And I think we're ready to go. Um, I've Yesterday I was playing the, um, the solo cell phone version of this character and everything was going smoothly. I still haven't found a five link even. I'm just getting really bad luck. I tried going in the Val side areas, everything. Um, so I jumped back on here and I immediately bought a 10 divine um, sword. The sword is 835 DPS. Um, I only had nine divine and I said it was up there for a while. It was listed for a while. And I said, it, do you, it's up to you. We do it for five divine. It's cool if no. And he said, yep. And it was a done deal. And then I bought, I think this was a divine as well. It's got 200 or 2,500 armor. Not bad. And it had life on it. I just bought these and got rid of the storm charger boots. This has five less movement speed. But I can also do um, the Eldritch currency on it so that I can get that back up. And it had a lot of life. It had some cold and that's got regen too. I've got these for explode. I've got to replace this, 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 this. And then, uh, you know, another upgrade to the sword would be nice as well. And we're just cruising along. I just did a video and we got 530 million EXP per hour down in Delve. So I'm looking forward to that but I want to knock out these. So what I did was I came over here and I went to the maps. I went to the fifth one and I said, oh, I'm missing all these. These were all done. Oh, except for that one. Interesting. So I've got one more to buy. I didn't notice that one because it kind of, see how it kind of hides there. So I got to get that one. Um, it might be in Kyrick, but then I just went to the trade site and I clicked all of these and, it and I said group by seller so that I could buy all the maps that I selected um, from one guy and I got them all and here they are and I'm going to run them very easy <laughs> compared to uh, solo cell found so let's click it on there yeah we, we should be able to um, get the missing map from Kirik this way hey welcome to the stream and we're just about to jump right in here and spirits and experience whatever we'll just move that up there oh and we're going to we might as well throw this on here for fun splinters I guess so We'll put it at the top. Maybe it should have been that guy. And away we go. Nice relaxing stream. Just leveling this guy up and getting uh, gear and loot and fun stuff. Oh, there's the splinters already dropping. Nice. This guy is a little squishy, but his, his damage is really, really good uh, compared to my other guy. <laughs> I only had a four link on my solo cell phone version of this, and I'll be um, I'll be doing re I'll be redoing stuff as far as the um, the passive tree, the uh, skill tree. I'll be redoing that because I don't like how it's set up currently. I can definitely get a lot better. I just need some swap around some gear, make sure the resistances are covered, and we should be in good shape. We'll take that. I'll look at that stuff later. I wish there was an option that would just, you know, auto pick up those things because I don't think anybody really looks at it until later. You're just flying around these Emperor's Luck currency. Okay. And I'll take that and that. And the I think I paid four chaos per. Yeah, I paid four chaos per map. So I bought five of them. So it's 20 chaos, but I don't have to go to all the different people. So that's nice. Oh, come on. And we'll creep around this way. I got another flask that auto set up down there. I paid 40 chaos for it. Um, it was expensive, but it was worth it, I think. So now I've got it automated with, let's see, one second. I'll hover, I'll hover over it. Well, that guy's a tough guy. These are all tough guys. One second, I'll, I'll hover over it in a moment. Look at these guys, jeez. Yeah, so I might start listing my maps for, you know, four or five um, chaos each. Hey, welcome to the stream. And I just got that. So it's automated. It does increase crit. This 
runs and does attack speed, and that is movement speed. These are all like medium, mediocre, not really top tier. A top tier are going to cost you a divine or more for the best ones. Five divine for the very, very best ones. Five, six, <laughs> six designs even. Depends on how uh, juicy the league is. Hey, welcome to the stream. If you have any questions, just let me know. Or if my voice is too loud or too soft or, or the volume is off, just let me know. Or if it's okay, just say it's okay. <laughs> ah, here we go. And I'm about to go into Delve again and get some levels because I was getting 500 million EXP per hour there just in this last level. It was pretty nice. Oh, come on. Getting a little sloppy there. Jeweler's orbs, I'll take them, I guess. And away we go. I don't know if these things, uh, I don't, I don't think the, uh, the monster spawned shrines are not affected by the Atlas stuff for shrines. I'm pretty, pretty sure. Uh, I gotta get rid of that. And I gotta remember, I'm just here for the, uh, well, I, I'd like some sulfite, but, um, generally, ooh, there's a, I saw that pop up on the map right there. I'll take that. Hey, and welcome to the stream. If you have any questions, just let me know. Oh boy. And we're playing Cyclone Raider, which is a very under underplayed, oh, underplayed uh, character. There, I think there's one other person in softcore um, trade, and there's nobody in solo cell found playing Cyclone of Tumult. Besides me. <laughs> They might be somebody at, like, level 40 or something. It just doesn't show up on the thing yet, but nobody, you know, seriously diving into it. I don't know where the uh, other saw fights are, but I get it automatically. Oh, there's one. Oh, come on. And it's right over there. I saw it pop up. There it is. And... Nice. And the gloves make everything explode, like the chest back in the day. And it's probably that other saw plate's probably way over on the other side. And we'll just go in here and pop this down. I like the new uh, command to create a port. Oh, this is actually a serious fight. And I'm kind of squishy still. I just swap back over to this character. And we'll see what happens. Tomorrow I should have a path of building as well. Hey, welcome to the stream. I'll put a path of building on because I don't want to link it to the current build. I don't. I don't like it as much. It needs to be updated and changed. I, I have a better build than this. This is just kind of like a midway point thing that I'm doing. I think that's all done. We can bail out. Nice. And all right, here we go. Uh, this last resort's not worth anything. Yeah. And I'm just gonna use. Oh, I don't have a dump tab for this one. Let's go, uh, let's move this one up to the top and we'll call it D for dump. Dump tab. And there we go. Just like that. Perfect. I still have to do, hey, welcome to the stream. I still have to do the, uh, divine, this thing, the divine vessel on the right spots for my Pantheon as well. That's not a big deal. I wonder what I what do I get? What is I get the regen thing right here that reduces their regen. That's actually pretty nice. But then on this one, uh, six percent reduced elemental damage. I mean, it's just a little bit less squishy then. Not not terrible, but not that great. And where was I going with this? Let's see. Looks like I was working my way over here. I wish there was a, like a you could leave off like a your intention like. Hold down shift and it'll turn it red or something or green that you intend to go that way. That would be cool. Because otherwise, you know, you might skip a day or two and then you come back and you're like, what was I building here? And I think we're just going to go up here to, to guarantee uh, Nico in the maps because I want that for the, well, for a lot of, for a lot of reasons. Cool. Let's do it. And activate. Nothing here. Upgraded to rare experience, chisels. Look at all this stuff. Wow. A lot of a lot of different buffs. On top of the regular buffs too. That's just weird. 
Here we go. Uh, this is the siege map. And DPS wise, I'm way up. I'm probably about two or three times my my solo self found guy. Probably three times. This weapon was just a big, big upgrade, and it costs. It, it, I think it's worth ten divine, but he he made a nice deal and he did it for five divine. That's very thankful. And and I just bought a different one for one divine, and I just sold it. So I bought it for one divine, found this one, and swapped over to it. And feeling kind of slow right now. This oh, that's why. That's why I was like, I'm feeling slow. <laughs> I turn that thing off because it's annoying in, when you're in your hideout, and I turn it off and I forget to turn it back on. I wish they would have an option to uh, not have automation in your hideout. That's, I mean, that's like a, that's just like a first, <laughs> the first thing that you'd come to. If you, I would put that in. I would make that as part of the thing. I was wondering why I wasn't moving so fast. Now we're now we're doing better. And I'm less squishy. I'm immune to stuns. I'm immune to corrupted blood. Pretty much ble any bleeds I'm, is a, are a non-issue. Uh, what else? I can't be chilled. I can't be frozen. I can't be ignited. Um, can't be brittle or sapped. Uh, a lot of nice things. Makes life easy, especially down in Delve. If you're immune to all those things, it makes life a lot better. Oh, we'll take that. I've got the shrine things. I'm about to get... I, I don't know. Did I I'll have to double check my atlas? But I think I have a... Hey, welcome to the stream. Just in time for some maps and then diving down into Delve. What's this recipe? Attacking. Okay. Put this on and let's see if we can just tear this guy apart. Oh, this is the... This is like in the campaign where you just do the things. This DPS is nice. It's easy, easy, easy. That is nice and easy. Can't wait. This is cool. I'm happy with this so far. And what was it? Um. Oh, I wanted to take this. Yeah, I'm going to go this way first. Additional shrine. Uh, additional shrine. And this one buffs the shrines themselves. Yeah, I like that. And you get an extra shrine effect from each of them. So you can just go crazy with them. And activate jeweler's orbs, spirit, that's all. Whatever, that's fine. And I think this is a twizzle. What is that? Yep, twizzle. And away we go. It's getting bad when you can <laughs> look at the thing and you know what it is. And you're like, oh, not always, but. I was guessing. I was like, I think that's Twizzle. Oh, this is Atoll. This is one of my favorite maps, actually. I don't know why. It just is. Oh, so we're going to get lots of buffs here. Another one. Look at all the buffs at the top now. And my regular shrine buffs. Oh, there's another one. And another one. <laughs> I'm going to... Oh, jeez. This is ridiculous. And... Oh, I don't like the knockback, though. That's the one I don't like. And nice. You guys have any questions? Just let ooh, get a just let me know. We get a ritual here. We'll we'll do it. I like rituals. They're pretty relaxing, and they're easy to do with um, Cyclone because <laughs> you just sit here. Hey, welcome to the stream. Done evening streams like this three nights in a row. I I, th I I'd like to get into a habit of doing you know streams in the evening time like this. I do episodes every day, and I like making those. I've been making episodes for a year now, I guess. Just episodes of whatever I'm playing. But um, I don't stream very often, so I decided oh, I'll give it a shot. And I just uh, I'm worried about you know doing stuff, boring stuff like <laughs> loot uh, management, managing loot, doing trades and stuff like that. It's not. I can't imagine it's too fun. People want to see uh, fights and advancements and, you know, getting, making progress. Not shuffling loot around in a 
But maybe people don't mind that, I don't know. But in general, I'm guessing. Let's see how tough this guy is. Uh, not bad at all. Oh, I also quality to up almost all my um, gems. I spent 120 chaos, got a bunch of uh, gem cutters prisms, and went that route. So stuff like this, the tumult is a 20 now. Oh, it's almost 2020. That one, all these things. Even this one, I think I... Oh, it's only 12 quality. Working on it. And we'll take this one. I, I need some more portals, I guess, maybe. And I'll take those too. I've got to update my uh, um, loot filter. Uh, we'll go this way. And we'll just knock all these guys off. Hopefully there should be... Oh, oh okay. we need. I need some... Uh, now, here's the thing. I, I really don't need Blight, but um, I don't mind it. I don't need the uh, oils because you're better off just buying them instead of trying to hunt them all down and everything. Uh, where's the... I started the Blight. Where is it? Oh, right here. I was like, which way did it branch? We'll do that one and that one. Oh, look at this. And I just used those to... Holy cow. Shock them and found them. Uh oh, it's branching. Which way? Uh, not this way, so we're good. We'll expand that one. And here we go. It's nice, the ex the uh, explosions. Um, oh, geez, this is not good. Uh, the explosions really help with this. The uh, From the gloves. Everything that dies, if it's bleeding, it explodes and they just... It just chain reacts and everything dies. Unless you get one big chunker, then, you know... Oh, oh I didn't notice he... They almost tricked me down here. Look at that. Oh, sneaky. And... And... What is this one? I'll do it like that. Nice. But in general, I... It's probably not the most efficient to do these. It's probably better just to buy whatever oils I need and not do this. Unless a mirror drops. <laughs> I don't think one will. What is that, a ruby ring? But it's fractured, I think. That might be good. Let's see. Nope. Azure oil, okay. Uh, I don't want that. And let's keep... Oh, this one we gotta do. Nice. Are you guys playing the game this this league as well, or just checking it out, or taking a break? And even at this at this video go archive, so if you guys are watching afterwards, you can ask down at the bottom. And I always answer all the questions. I don't mind at all. I like answering questions in there or comments. And this is up. Two of four on the ritual, so there should be one more ritual, probably with the boss. This boss is an easy boss. Um, grab that, that, and those. And let's go see if there's anything else over here. I need, yeah, I need to get a little more speed. Not much, but a little more. This isn't... Is this the, the fourth ritual? It's an odd spot for it, but I guess I missed it on the way in. Come on. Waiting for it to proc. It's still not going up. Where's the guy? This guy? There we go. Okay. Let's do it. I'll do that and that. And away we go. Let's see how well this turns out. We're getting some decent EXP. I'm not even trying for EXP right now, but what do we get? What are we at per hour? I haven't reset it since I started the stream, and I did. I even did a, a heist as well, so that doesn't do too much. 155 million? Not trying. Nice. I'm going to blow that out of the water in uh, Delve, though. Once I get through these two more maps. And what do we get? Okay. That. Any kind of... Anything to... Um, veil. We have to unveil things. Nope. Uh, repost. Oh boy. This one? No. So, I guess... 
This is just bad stuff. We'll take that. Uh, defer. I can't even defer anything. That's fine. That was a, not a good result. <laughs> hey, welcome to the stream. I'm about to do delve after this. Just a couple more maps. And we'll go do it. Come on. And... Just wanted the jeweler's orb there. And here we go. And you just drop one here. Drop a totem and... Let's see if I can get him before he explodes. Nope. Not bad, though. Easy boss. And we'll bail out. All right, let's go dump tab. Just like that. Destroy that. So I don't have to look at it again. Nice. What, nothing went into the dump tab? That's nice. Guess I didn't have anything of value there. Oh, don't do this, do this. And we're going to get that. And then that one next. Nice. And 4%, blah, blah, blah. And increased rarity. We'll put that at the top. And here we go. Pretty relaxing, pretty easy, easy stuff to do. And I think in one of the videos I have a on this guy, there's a, a path of building link if you guys want to look at it. But, um... I would wait until tomorrow or yeah tomorrow I'm gonna have a better path of building setup I'm gonna work on this guy and get him the gear set up correctly and then the skill tree in a much better shape than it is right now this was kind of like a leveling thing that I just kind of threw together and now what I'll do with the tree is a lot better from here on out I'll, I'll improve the it won't be too much more defensive but it'll be a lot more offensive so even more damage and here we go. Um, should I go in? I don't think I need to go in here for anything. Yeah, I don't need anything in there. The solo cell found I was going in there looking for six links, corrupted six links, but I didn't find any. I went in like 15 of them and cleared out 15 and just no luck. I didn't even find a, find a five link. Found one weapon that was a five link, but it was a downgrade. So I was really out of luck. And oh, Nico's right over here. Take that. Nice. Oh, there was a chest here then. Is it gonna explode? Just living on the edge, I guess. Elder Sword. Weird. What is this? This one I've I've seen a lot. The Blood Reaper. That one's a seen a lot, but this one I haven't seen too much of. Innsbury Edge. Hmm. Still one chaos. One chaos and uh, I've seen that one before. Okay. So, oh, pack monsters. More sulfite. That's actually pretty nice. How much sulfite do I have? Off to hey, welcome to the stream and welcome to the stream. If you've been here before, welcome back. If you're new, hello. <laughs> And I'm just doing, um, I'm about to go one more map, and I'm going to go do Delve just to get a ton of, e I was getting 530 million EXP per hour down there. So I was just flying up in levels, and I want to fly up in levels again, so I'm going to go back down there. And I think I'm capped on Sulfite. I probably am. But this is nice. I got that, which is a Sulfite thing. Oh, here we go. Let's find out what our Sulfite level is at. Almost capped. We'll get it with the next, the next map. Oh, thanks for the like. I appreciate it. It helps get the word out for Path of Exile, and because very few people actually, a few, I, I, maybe two or th no, maybe ten people on YouTube do this on Path of. Not very many, and it's hard to find people that are playing. I wish they would just list it. Let's drop a, po a totem right here, just in case. I don't know, but this guy should just drop. That was easy, too easy. And away we go. Let's see. Uh, we'll take this. And now it's going to... We get two buffs per shrine. And increased effect of those buffs. This one I don't think I, I'll get. There's no... Well, maybe. But I want that one. Okay. And then I'm going to get these. 
Nice. Okay. Um, what did they give us? Uh, junk. And this one. Are these worth anything? Worth three chaos. I don't want to deal with them. And that too. Done. Oop. Let's go to that. And just a slight misclick. There we go. And let's do this one. And I don't need the I don't need the saw fight for this because this will cap me out. Okay, so let's just do that. Jeweler's orbs, rarity of item drop, jeweler's orbs. Fine. Are you guys playing the league this way? Uh, this time as as well? Oh, and thanks thanks for the like. I appreciate it. Very cool. It pops up over on the other screen when they click that. And come on, I can walk. I promise. There we go. Or you're checking out the game. Some people, you know, they don't even, you know, they've never played and they want to see what it looks like. What? What's going on? Oh, I don't. This is a. This must have a. Um, a no regen or something on this in this map. I gotta play this really kind of a little bit carefully. Yeah, there's no regen. I, I, I was out of mana. I'm like, what's going on here? I'm not swinging. I'll be careful. As long as I'm hitting stuff, I'll get enough. Um, mana back I think on this character at least but look at that, down, nothing my, my, my mana is dropping fast we'll see is that the case? let me double check let's see monsters, suppress, quantity no, it's just that's very weird, I was running out don't know I'll take the jeweler's orb Maybe it's the uh, automation. On my other character, the automation, uh, this thing right here, was tied to my weapon, which um, made it use life tap. So I was life tapping this whole setup. And I might actually switch that over, and then I can not worry about it. But um, there'll be different solutions. Um, but this right here is eating into this mana. And it's a chunk of it. Hmm. I could put it over there and automate it, and then... Put like a level one life tap on it. I don't know. That might be the way to go. Move this over here and then vengeance onto there. Could I do that? Yeah, that's strength dex. I think that's what I'll do. I think that's a good idea. Life tap this, save it, and then I won't have to worry about mana at all then. I think that's what I'll do. That's a solution. But I'll do that later. And gotta go around. Oh, there's something on the ground back here. Nice. I don't have to worry about these lightnings. I can't be shocked. It's really nice. Oh, come on. Pick that up. I click it and then it moved right off. And we'll run around this way. And it sh we should be capped. Also, I get a temper. There's a 10% chance that I, I get. I match the sulfite with azurite when I do this. So there's a good chance that I get azurite as well. Later in the tier 16s, you'll get six or eight thousand sulfite, and that means on average I'm getting from a map, I'm getting 800 um, uh, azurite, which I can spend on resonators, which sell for anywhere from two to two to three chaos, I think, right now in bulk. So I can get anywhere on average, I'll get 20 um, chaos worth just from doing the maps that way with that node and people people don't realize that they don't they're like oh i don't want that node that azurite node and it's pretty powerful i probably sold 10,000 plus uh resonators last last league i sold a ton in bulk i was selling them hundreds at a time 50 at a time 200 at a time it was pretty cool made a lot on that my lot my character last league i probably had two to four hundred k no three to four hundred chaos easily in the in his build not chaos uh divines <laughs> chaos <laughs> and it was nice but this league i think we're going to have even better weapons for cheaper so i'm looking forward to having maybe a 1200 dps uh 
sword. That will be really cool if I can pull that off. I only got up to like 1100 last league. I think it was 11, like 1080 or something like that. Um, I would love to be able to get up to 1300 this league. We'll see how well. We'll see if we can do it though. Just on the weapon alone. They were costing a mirror last last league for that, so we'll see. Hey, welcome to the stream. Done and we'll put that point there, and we'll go to the dump dump tab. Nice. And then I'll run more maps later, but right now I'm going to use up some of this sulfite. I want to just crank up the uh, EXP per hour because we're sitting at 140 in maps, 140 million. But if we start doing this, let's see if some good ones. Here's some good ones. This one. Oh, no. Th this way. Look at all these. This is really good stuff. All these right here. So and a, a long one to start off with, too. All right. So we're going to set we're going to reset the um, EXP per hour. So let's reset, and here we go. Let's see how, how much we can actually get. What level are we? 84. We'll see. I, I'm going to guess... I'm going to shoot for 400 million at this level. We'll see if I can pull that off. I, I, don't, I don't know if I can do it. We'll see. But that's the whole... Go oh, there's Azurite. I'm here for Azurite and EXP. So let's see how well we can do. I don't. I, I need to automate another uh, flask down there too. I don't need two uh, health flasks. I just need the one insta heal when low on when low on life. Ah, I see the azurite hiding over here. And let's do this. Come on, four hundred million. I don't. I, I. I can't see myself hitting four. Well. I want to. We'll see. This is a long one. I'm going to try not to go in the side things. I'm just going to try to focus on the most EXP. Hey, welcome to the stream. And... I'm going to try not to let up and just get as much as we can here. Come on, EXP. I If I, if I work on this character, I should be able to get him to 100 just by doing delves. The EXP down here is so nice. Come on, come on. Easy stuff. Nice. And next node. Keep moving, keep moving. We'll take that. Ooh, a granite flask. We might make our own. I need one. Come on. <laughs> I'm like, move, go. <laughs> And yeah, I think I'll I, I think I'll just craft my own granite flask, and roll my own. Might make a couple of them, or three or four, and sell a couple. I could use the uh, I could use the chaos slash divines. All right. I don't want to look at the exp per hour yet. I want to get like three more nodes and have a good good see. What my prediction is four hundred and. 17 million EXP per hour. Let's see if that's going to be the case. And I'll do it after like three more nodes. We'll check. We'll check then. Come on. Yeesh. There's a level. I won't even spend the point. Just going to keep going. Oh, an orb of regret. We'll go this way. Away we go. What do you guys think it'll be? Uh, um, EXP per hour. What's your prediction? I mean, it's hard to guess because you'd have to be the same. You know, you'd have to to get a good feeling at level 85. What what is a good EXP per hour? I don't even know. Maybe 400 million is terrible, but for me, 400 million was good, really good. We'll see. I'm, I'm, I imagine there's like groups that uh, have it set up where they just get a billion EXP per hour. But this is solo, so... Pretty good. I think. Okay, and... 
417 million is my prediction. Let's see what it turns out to be. I was doing 530 million at 84. And as you level up, it gets harder and harder, so we'll see. And we'll just knock all these guys down. Do you guys like playing Delve or no? They're not a not an interesting uh Some people like it, some people hate it, and some people don't mind it, and they just it's like nothing. Uh, let's see, we'll scoop up all this stuff. I was making a lot of loot down in here. Um, in the last league, a lot. I was selling, um, I was selling perfect fossils for a third of a divine. It was really nice. I don't know how much they're worth this because people were using the perfect fossils on their maps last league, so to make them the thirty quality to start them off. Oh, I'll take that flat or that flat. Oh, I don't even need the flares. I'm not even using them. So that's why the the price of the perfect fossils went through the roof. So this year, this league, I don't know if people, I don't think people are like quality. They should be. I, w I don't know why they wouldn't be qualitying up their maps. Hey, welcome to the stream. If you guys know if people are doing that, let me know. If people are putting the quality, oh, I should have hit that. Just lowered my EXP per hour. Last league, they were doing it because they were juicing their maps, but maps are still being juiced this league, so I think more quantity, or, you know, the quality at 30 would help, versus a 20 quality. I don't know. That 10% 10, 10 extra, it should... I mean, that's what they were doing last league, so... I imagine they'll be doing it this league. If I find a perfect fossil, I'll be able to tell. If it's only selling for, like, 10 chaos or 15 chaos, then they're not you then people aren't using it to juice their maps yet but towards like two or three weeks in about three weeks in they were doing it big time last league and that meant that the they were selling for 50 or 60 chaos each one and away we go and we'll go back this way i'm about to find out how much exp per hour like two more three more nodes just to give it a good you know i want a good sample for it. Oh, soft light, I'll take that. And let's go this way. Nice. Oh, and welcome to the stream. Oh, and thanks for the like, I appreciate it. Very cool. I don't know if it helps. It's gotta help, um, like, uh, get the word out to whatever the algorithms that YouTube uses. I don't know. <laughs> Nobody knows. And let's see what we get here. I suspect it helps, so I, I appreciate it. And... Let's see what we get out of this. This is just easy stuff, and it's kind of... Sorry, it's kind of boring doing these things, but... I'm just trying to get levels quickly here. I don't think... I'm guessing it's going to be under 400... I'm going to go maybe... 381 million per hour. I'm, I'm adjusting my prediction now. 381. It's just, that's what it feels like. We'll see. And we'll go down here. We'll look right after this. Hey, welcome to the stream. We're about to find out how much EXP per hour I'm getting right up after this next node. I've done like, I don't know, like six nodes, seven nodes. And we'll find out. And the goal is, the goal is 400 plus million per hour. But I'm guessing I'm at 381 now. It just doesn't feel like 400 million per hour. A level ago, or two levels ago, I was getting 530 million per hour. But then it gets harder each time you level up. The uh, the difference between you and the creatures goes up, and then unless I were to try to push deeper, I could do that too. So I haven't been close to uh, dying. Hey, welcome to the welcome to the stream. We're about to find out right after this node how much EXP per hour I'm getting. We were doing a test here down in Delve, and we're at level 85. Going fairly quickly, but not as quick as I wanted it to. We'll find out shortly. And and then after the stream, I'll I'll set up a better. Um, 
I'll, I'll adjust the character so it's even stronger. Tweak the gear a bit, and we'll be in good shape. Because right now it's kind of sloppy, but it's working. Here we go. 342 million per hour. All right. I was hoping for 400 million, but not bad. Do you find Delve gives better EXP than mapping? Yeah, way better. Um, I can get... I was pushing 500 to 600 million at level 83. And then here, uh, it's 300. And, and if you can go a little faster, we'll probably push 400 million. But 300 million is still a lot. <laughs> I like it. Um, let's go like that. Plus, I needed the Azurite anyways. But for mapping, uh, or compared to mapping, I... I get a ton of EXP down here. I was doing a hundred. I was doing maps right before this, and we were at 140 million EXP. And then I came down here, and I'm doing 340. So yeah, it's night and day. Not even close. And this is safer too. This was way safer. Well, not safe. It, about the same safety, but I could you know if it, if it gets too hard, I can always adjust it by going deeper, or going a little bit shallower. What's your character level? 85. And welcome to the stream. Um, at 83, I was getting 530 to 600 million. And now at 85, I'm getting the 340. But I'm going to go a little bit deeper, and I'm going to do another test right here in a second. So if we can get that number up to like 380 million, ideally, we'll see if we can. We'll find out together. Gold flask, nice. And... What if I were to go down here? Something like this? Let's test that out. I want this one anyways. So I'll do this. I'll do that one. This one, this one, this one. Come down here and get these. And we'll test that out. So I'm going to reset the EXP right now. Come on. And... And it's reset. Here we go. This is a new test. A little bit deep. It's not really deeper, so that's not a really great test. But we'll see. I'm guessing now it's going to be about, well, anything over 300 million I'll be happy with, but we'll see. These nodes aren't as good as I don't, I, I don't think. We'll see. 300 million plus would be okay. I'd be happy with. And this character is not, not decked out in any way. I got a good, good weapon. <laughs> That's nice. Uh, for five divine. That was a deal, too. I think it's worth 10 Divine. That's what he had it listed at, and he sold it for 5 Divine to me, but I think it's worth 10 Divine. It's it's nice. I just didn't have the 10 Divine to, 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 uh, <laughs> to buy it, so I said, do you want to do it that? It's up to you, and he said, yeah, sure. I think he, uh, I think he was a lot richer, so he just didn't care. But he was a Cycloner too, so Cyclone of Tumult, but he had like some other setup. I'm just pure Cyclone. Nothing else on it. And come on, let's see if I can actually walk. Sometimes you're moving so fast. Hey, how are you doing? Good to see you, GH. And we're going to go over here. We're going to grab that fire one in a second. We're doing a, a uh, EXP per hour test at level 85. We're seeing how it pans out. We just got 340 million per hour. At 83, I was getting 530 million per hour. I don't think I'm I don't think I'm deep enough to get the 400 million, which I'd like to be getting right now. So I need to go deeper because this is not none of this has been difficult. Hey, welcome to the stream and welcome to the stream. Bunch of people. Oh boy, got dark there for a second. And let's see how this turns out. This is pretty easy, though. It really is. My character's not that squishy. <laughs> um, oh, on my... Uh, the neat thing on... Oh, what is that? Legion Scarab? Nice. And that and that. And we'll just keep going. Let's go find... Uh, this is this is the item that could drop something really good. The node. There's certain nodes in... Like, there's cities, and there's bosses down here, that, and then there's nodes like those that it, this is the only place that it drops in the game is down here. So people, you have to... Oh, let's open this up. Why not? Ooh, what do we get? Pristine? I'll take them. Hidden well? 
resonators. Beautiful. Nice. And now I kind of want to look back here. Uh, I know I shouldn't be though. I'm, oh, that's a nice scarab. Take it. <laughs> I get I get distracted. I shouldn't stay focused. Don't look at the shiny stuff. And I'd like a little more speed on my. Oh, this is. Oh, this isn't a bad one. There's one of these encampments that's really bad with the archers because they like pin you to the ground and you can't move. The bad one. But this one is not it. Oh, we gotta interact with it. Maybe it is. To, nope, it's not that one. How's everybody liking the league so far? What I, su I what I suspect is um, the gear that's gonna get produced now is gonna be some of the top of the line gear that we've ever seen. And it's going to be cheaper than normal, too. And let's go find this one out. Here we go. I'm guessing this this run is going to be 304 million per hour. I'll take the dynamite. And we'll find out. Uh, t like, two more, two more nodes after this, just to give it a good average. You don't want to just do one node and try to figure out your EXP per hour from that. Oh, let's go peek this down here. Lost armor. And... Oh, one second. I can't do the trade. Sorry, buddy. I'm going to leave that unique back there. Um, I can't do the trade right now. Sorry, man. And... Eesh. I should, I should turn those off, the one chaos and all that kind of stuff. That was from back. Oh my gosh, lots of stuff here. You know what? Let's let's help the guy out. Let's see if he... All right. Here's the... 413 million EXP per hour. Not bad. So let's uh, invite that guy. Let's see if he wants to. He wanted this eye jewel for one chaos. Let's see if he wants to come in here. And yep. And we'll go to our hideout, and we'll do it. Hey, welcome to the stream. And I'll just turn off that one chaos tab that I have. I shouldn't be selling. Like, this stuff I don't want to be selling anymore. Which one did he want? Um, one chaos. Where is it? Let's see it. It is Grim Spire Spire. One second. Oh, right here. And I'll, I would just give this to him. Where is he? Hello. Where'd he go? Oh, one second. Oh, I see the question. Oh, the guy left. <laughs> All that and he left. Oh, geez. Oh, well. All right. So let's do this. We're going to turn this off. Public. No. And close. And public. No. And... Public. No. There we go. Now we won't get inter interrupted by those. And I see the question. I'll get to that right now. And I'm just going to put this in the... Oh, we got a... Ooh. Is that a Venter's Gamble one? And the question was, uh, why are you not slowing down when you're using Tumult? The gem is the only reason I don't use it because you... Here's the thing. That's the Cyclone of Tumult. It says that, right? It says you're going to slow down and all that, the less movement speed. It doesn't really do that. <laughs> it doesn't seem to actually do what it says. And maybe it's a bug. It's never done that. It's never slowed me down. And not only that, I go faster when I start fighting. <laughs> it's like the opposite. And it's always been that way. It was that, that way last league too. Um, Cyclone of Tumult is 100% the way to go. If you have Cyclone, don't, don't skip out on this. And then also uh, quality it up um, for the extra attack speed. Yeah, this is... I fly around here. Oh, and then because I'm a uh, raider, I get permanent onslaught too. So I'm, I've got a lot of speed. Got movement speed there. I got... Yeah, I'm in good shape there. So uh, give give Cyclone a Tumult a try. Throw it on and just see what happens. You'll be uh, pleasantly surprised. Uh, another question. How much extra movement speed do you have in your character uh, with the flask and the stuff to mitigate the 60% loss? 
it, it doesn't seem to actually do the 60% loss when I'm doing it. Um, that's one thing. It doesn't seem to, but then my, uh, let's see. My movement speed, miscellaneous. 140. So it fluctuates. Not only that, um, I've done this. See this new automation thing? I put withering step and phase, phase run on there. So they're automated and they're just sending me all around. And then I've automated this. Oh no, th this. So... You know, it's just flying around and that's what it's doing. And then I'm hitting them, going faster. It's just crazy. And then if I get uh, frenzy charges, it goes even faster because I get frenzy charges. Oh, I've got to do this on this character yet. This is great. I'm going to be moving faster and doing even more damage. I haven't done this yet. I forgot. Um, so I get that. I'll get another 30% uh, movement speed from here and here. I'm going to redo that. Pretty cool. Ah, uh, your Slayer, so that's, yeah, that's a lot tougher. As long as you can get Onslaught, um, it's, it's a, it's a no, it's, yeah, it's really great. And do either Phase Run or, uh, Withering Step mitigate the 60%? Yeah, they, they it, 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 anything that speeds you up is you're in good shape. And this thing, I would highly suggest anybody playing Melee just do a setup like this where you get Steel Skin, Phase Run, and Withering Step with an automation thing. Also, if you can tie it into life tap, I'm going to put it over here with life tap and then it'll just use my uh, health and then it won't be doing this issue. So I, mana will not be an issue. I can get this mana down to almost nothing and then mana won't be an issue at all. Pretty cool. Um, let's find out what this thing is. It might be a really great one or terrible. Venter's Gamble. Okay, let's see. What do we end up with? Um... Five on the, five on the fire. It's all pluses. Uh, increased rarity found. Ooh, fifteen percent on that one. This isn't terrible. Let's see, fifteen percent on the rarity. And increased rarity. Okay, let's uh, search. Oh, not that great. Like apparently twenty chaos or something. I'll just put it in my dump tab and we'll check it out later. Oh, and two more questions. Let's see. I was told automation only do one gem. You got three. No, yeah, it, it does all of these. This one does all this. I'm not pushing any buttons. It's doing the blade. See the blade uh, the right up here. See that steel skin? It's doing that. They're all, this is all doing it automated. It's better than it was before. Before I'd only put be able to put uh, steel skin on left click, but now I can't do that, but I've got all these. I could probably put two more on here. If I get a six link, I could automate five at once. So yeah, I would highly suggest putting phase run and withering step and you'll just start spinning. This is just it's doing it by itself. <laughs> it's nice. You got to do that. Cool. I'm glad this helped. And let's go back in here. Oh, another question. One second, guys. Do you have anything that says uh, cannot movement speed, cannot be modified below base? No, I don't have anything like that. Um, there's some boots that do that. Um, there's some boots. I forget the name of them. But there's a specific um, unique boots that you can buy that have a movement speed can't be lowered. Um, minus eight quant is bad. Ah, that's what it was on those. Minus eight. Eight reduced quantity. Oh, that's bad. Oh, well. Um, There's a gem, too. Hmm. Or a jewel. Oh, there's a jewel as well. Um, so far, I haven't needed it. This is, for me, um, this is this is great. And I'm going to be moving faster. Probably another 30% movement speed faster once I do my um fourth ascendancy thing. Yeah, I'm in good shape with this character. I was really, I'm really happy, and I'll get more damage. Uh, this, and this is junky gear, really. This is not. <laughs> this is a five to ten divine weapon, and the, the rest is all junk. Not nothing special. Pretty cool. Let's go jump back down in there. View the chart. Oh, I'm out of those. Yeah, I, my biggest thing when I when I'm trying to make a character like this is. I want movement speed. I don't want to move slow. I hate moving slow. Um, I don't want to care about mana, and I don't want to die. And I want to do some damage. <laughs> That's it. And that This pretty much fits the bill for me. 
Oh, and it has to be, I don't want to be clicking a lot. So this, I just move smoothly and fast. Yeah, I like it. I'm happy with it. And Cyclone of Tumult is a 100% absolutely use it over regular Cyclone. Oh, well, there's another question. I'll get to that right at the end of this node. I'm just going to steer through it. Oh, I'll take that Azurite. And I got to get my salt plate capacity up. Yeah, I, I can't wait. I'm going to be moving even faster in a little bit. I'm going to do the... Oh, I'll blow up that wall. And what's back here? Oh, resonators and whelp. Nice. And one of the things with Cyclone is I do the life gain on hit. Some you got to have some kind of life gain somewhere. Um, I actually use the gem just because I am for now, but eventually I'll get away from that and my damage will go up even more. There's some rings that are good. Like All I need is about 20 life gain on hit, and it's really adequate, so we'll see. Oh, where'd the cart go? I was walking the wrong way. Oh, welcome to the stream. One second, I'll get to that question right after this node. What is this? Compacted jewels, amulets. Oh, and down in Delve, one of the biggest <laughs> things that you can uh, actually have on is purity of elements. It, it makes it so you can't be frozen, you can't be scorched, you can't be, uh, you can't be shocked, ignited. All the things down in Delve that are bad, um, you're invulnerable to them. Plus it gives uh, like 35, I think, 36, uh, res all resists. That's pretty nice. When I didn't have um, purity of elements, it, it made it a lot tougher down here. It's just a pain. And when I do have it, life is good. Ooh, cluster gems. Okay, I'll take all this and that too. Why not? All right. The next uh, the question was: Any plans to go to Twitch or similar so uh, one can have the chat open full screen while watching the streams? Um, I don't know. Uh, I I've never tried Twitch. Um, I've just been streaming. I think this is the third night in a row that I've streamed. I'm not opposed to going to Twitch. I just never, I never tried it. I don't even know how to. I'd have to. I'm. Not, uh, I could do it. It's not difficult. It's um, I just have to figure it out. Don't know. And away we go. Yeah, I don't. Uh, I think Twitch has the chat like right over here or something on the screen. It's just different. I don't know why YouTube doesn't do it. I don't know. And away we go. And I'll reset this EXP per. Ooh, I just reset the EXP per hour. And let's see what we're getting. I should be able to fly up another level, no problem now. Has anybody in, anybody in the chat actually streamed on Twitch before? I don't know. I don't know. I just, I just haven't done it. Oh, one question. I see the comment there. I'll get to that in a second. Oh, easy. Easy. There we go. Why is it stopping? My, sometimes my character stops. It shouldn't be. I'm checking my mana. It's not stopping because of that. Just glitches out a little bit. And stopping spinning as a cycloner is a bad deal. There we go. And what are we at now? 492 million EXP per hour. <laughs> nice. I don't think I'll be able to keep it up to that rate, but we'll see. And... Combs Root, that's the boot. Yep, the unwavering. And it gives you unwavering stance. That's the one, yep. And yeah, I have to minimize every time I write in chat. I took the leech nodes you had as my path of bending went from level 70 to level 100 with no explanation in between. Uh, you had to op, uh, improvise. Okay. Yep, uh, I'm going to do a path of building tomorrow for this character, but I have to fix it. I don't want to post it until I fix it because it's just not correct. Ooh, look at this. Automation next level. What a, I wonder what quality does to these automation things. Uh, it reduces the cooldown, so it fires off even more often. I like that. I'll take it, but I don't have it. I haven't done it yet. All right, let's go. Which way? Down here? Yeah, down here. I want to go deeper. Spirit void and vitality void helped a lot with mana sustain. Um, for me, I'm not gonna. Um, uh, there's. 
all I need to do is put the minus three uh, mana per ch for the channeling thing on the ring. Uh, ideally, on both rings, and then the uh, uh, the cyclone is free to cast, so it, mana won't be an issue at all. I can do it that way, or I could do on the chest. There's a channeling one too. That's harder to get, but the ring one I can do myself. So I just get a ring with an empty suffix, I think it is, and also I can use the ring that mirrors the other ring. That's a nice way to do it. I did, I did that last league, so I had minus three on there, and then a bunch of uh, life gain on hit, and a bunch of stuff. That would free up a lot of points. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, it 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 makes mana a non-issue. I I pretty much handle mana on my character uh, with the gear, like here, and then I'm gonna have to deal. This is something new. And I'm going to have a six link with it, probably with life tap. So it just uses a tink a little bit over here. And then mana won't be an issue at all. So I'll, I'll like it. I'll see what happens. There's so many w different ways to handle it, which is really cool. I like it a lot. Uh, let's go down this way. Hey, welcome to the stream. You got the minus seven unveils. Is there a minus seven? Uh, is that on the chest where it does that? For channeling skill, for channeling, uh, channeling, what is it? Channeling, uh, spells or skill skills. Yeah, I haven't got that one. I know there's the minus three on rings. Mi yeah, minus seven on rings. I don't know. I, I, I'll have to look that up. If if I can find one or buy one, then I can. Then I wouldn't have to put it on both rings. That would be amazing. But I don't know. I didn't know of that one. I only knew of the minus three, and once in a while you can get a minus four, but that doesn't help me. Because it costs six mana for a Cyclone. So I just needed minus three twice, or anything above minus six. Oh, Val Regalia. Very cool. And I'll take the Resonators. Ah, uh, it's non-channeling. Yep, that's the problem. Yeah, that doesn't help me at all. That's a no-go. Minus three for the channeling, yep. So it's two of those. <laughs> you got, you got I, I was I was excited. I was like, if there's a minus seven one, that would be really cool. They should do that. It'd be nice of them. Pretty easy, trying to blow up. There we go. Hey, welcome to the stream. And... We were hitting, well, we just hit 400 million per hour. We hit 340 million per hour, and then at level 83, I was hitting 530 million per hour EXP down here in Delves. Oh, I'm almost out of sulfate. I have to go back up to do the maps. Oh, well. And I'm not even really super focused. Yep, I'm going to do that. Um, I'm going to do that after the stream because I have to... I have to fix my build, and then I'll post a uh, Path of Building link in the description of it, too. Probably with the next episode, because, you know, I've got to do the... i got to do the fourth lab, i got to do a bunch of stuff yet. All this, like, what points can I spend? Let's go, let's do the safety thing. The safer thing. Let's pick those up, that up. Can I spend some? Yes, wow. Looking forward to it? Cool, cool. I'll definitely do it. Yeah, I've been... Uh, I've, I've been better at doing that lately, you know, about posting the uh, path of building. A lot of people ask about it, and they just want to, you know, do that stuff. Oh, look at this! I need to upgrade that, and that, and I get. Oh boy. Okay. Um, Val Regara, really? How much does this sell were sell for? Nothing. Wow. There's only two, three listed. Did this roll well? It rolled uh, okay-ish. Huh. I'll sell it for... Uh, we'll just say... 55. I don't... I don't care. I don't... I don't mind. One second, I see the comment. And we'll just dump all this stuff in here. And how much I have? I have a little bit in the comment. Uh, you do the Crystal... Crystal King and Delve? I haven't done it uh, on this character. Well, I haven't done it yet, but I plan to try to attempt all that stuff down here um mostly i i come down here for the perfect fossils 
last league, they were worth, three of them were worth a divine, and I was finding them left and right, so I was finding a lot of loot down here. Let's try this one. I don't like, oh, let's see if we can get some points spent. Uh, ooh, this is going to be big. We're going to do this. Our, our, <laughs> our damage is going to go up a lot right now. On the sheet, I'll turn this off for a second. So 43 baseline Cyclone of Tumult. If I put this on and then this, this won't affect my, but I can get more range. So there we go. And 45, nice. Another, th what is that? 4%, 5% more damage. And away we go, more than that. And let's give it a shot. Here we go. More damage. And this beyond thing down here is, it's actually, I would say it's, uh, from what I remember, I thought it was hard last time. Let's see how difficult it is. I remember it was, no, wait, maybe it wasn't that one. Maybe it was the Harbinger one. Let's see. Maybe I'm misremembering. No, it wasn't. This wasn't difficult. I like the new clasped hand thing thing where you can just walk over it it was such a pain to actually um you know flick them inside of a, a bunch of stuff oh easy and no the only thing i the darkness is all the way over here let's go big guy not fast enough darn it and what do we get this this that a void axe nice and I want to go deeper, a lot deeper. Let's go this way. I'd like that one too, but oh well. Oh, I'm finally out of sulfite. Okay, let's go back up here and we're going to pump our maps with more sulfite by doing this. Let's do this. Uh, that was a breach. Uh, I do find beyond nodes to be rough and delve. That was a breach. Okay, sorry. Oh, oh yeah, I missed uh, beyond. What was it? Yeah, I get confused between those two. And there was one of them. There was one certain node down there that was really hard. It wasn't a harbinger, a harbinger, was it? I don't know. That was hard. There's one down in here that in delve that is really painful. I was like, Tsh! like shockingly so. That wasn't it. Yeah, that was breach because that's what the breach rings. Yeah, sorry, that was breach, not beyond. That's where you get the breach rings. Correct. And do I have any things that I can run for? Is this done? No. We can run this one. And anything bad on it? Nope. And then we can run... Anything? Oh, we can run that one. Anything bad on it? Nope. I don't think so. And... Oh, we don't even have it. So then we'll just run sixes. This one. This one. And this one. And this one, why not? Waterways. And another question. Beyond is the summoning demons one. Usually it spawns a boss. Yeah, it, I knew it was one of the... Yeah, that that one. That one is hard. At least I remember it was difficult from last time. And we'll... Let's elk the... Or actually, we can use this binding. The orb of binding. I've, I have extras, so why not? Okay, so that's an... We'll move this here. Just like this. We'll run this one next. This one is fine. I usually have a, a program that I run that, where I just hit like F3 on this and it'll tell me if there's any bad um, mods on the map, but I don't have that running right now. I made that program myself. Okay. Oh, and here's the question. Uh, do you find any type of elemental damage on that character? If not, you should be doing a yeah, I can do reflect. I can do elemental reflects, and not only that, but I think. Wait, do I have brutality on this guy? Let's see. It should. I should have. Yeah, brutality. So I don't do any elemental and or chaos damage. So I can do the only ones I can't do are the reflect ones. Um, the no mana and no life regen. I can do those, but I have to be a little. You know, I have to be careful. I I have to make sure that I'm hitting a creature is all. Um. Otherwise, you might run out of mana and not have to cast. Then I have to port back out of town or in and out on the maps. But otherwise, the only map I really can't do is uh, Fizz Reflect. And here we go. 
And I'm going to actually use this here to actually pump it up even more. Just like that. Chromatic orbs. I think, yeah, we can drop this here. And orb of alterate. Okay, let's do it. Uh, do I... And no leech maps? Yeah, I can, I can do the no leech maps. Those are no problem. I don't leech very much at all, if anything, sometimes. So the only map I can not do is the reflect the fizz reflect all right let's see what we got here and away we go see now we get actually sulfite from these creatures i love it we're gonna get a lot of i mean look at that we're up, our sulfite's flying up and this is only a tier six map nice and then we get this we get more yeah we can we can fill up on sulfite so easy now holy cow it's going to be simple. I love it. More. Ooh, an amethyst ring. Those are nice. And we'll take that. Um, I'll take this one. Come on, speed. That doesn't feel like a speed, does it? There it goes. And the, um, the neat... Uh, I don't really want to do it in abyss. I don't feel like doing it. I just want K I just want uh I just want more sulfite so I can go back down and delve. And some points to spend on my outlet. Why am I picking that up? That's from That's from uh what do you call it? Solo Southbound. There's another one. That's four thousand uh four thousand sulfite we got so far. And alterations, I don't care about them. We're flying. Yeah, so if you're worried about um, speed with the the tumult thing, don't worry about it. As much as you might be, I don't know. I'm not even gonna do the expedition. I just want to go flying through these. I'll take this. Oh, I thought that was a salt light guy. I'll take the chaos. Come on. Holy cow! That was a thousand salt light from that. I'm gonna buy some of those. All flames with the sulfite. That is just too nice. That was a thought a thousand saw uh a thousand sulfite from that little pack. Holy moly. Yeah, this they made it so you don't even have to have you could just level up in, in delves now. You can get sulfite so easy. I'm glad they did that. I didn't realize it was that that significant. And where's the boss at? Did I... Oh, I completed it. I didn't even know it was a boss. <laughs> I killed the boss and didn't even know it. And... There we go. I'll take the map. And... On to the next one. Holy cow. What a mess. Uh, we'll sell this off. This is a neat one. Neat looking. What? Sinvicta. What is that worth? That's worth something. Um, I'm just gonna put it in here for now, and that's Pender. That's a that's actually a fun belt, Parendus. Um, I'll put it there for now, and here we go. This one, if it has chaos on it, on the second one, it no, it doesn't. And we'll put that away, and that away, and what about this? And that away. Here we go. Uh, sounds like a winner build. Yeah, it's fun. I like this. It's a lot of fun for me. I, I just like the um, the cyclone of cycloning because um, because it doesn't hurt my hand. <laughs> That's mostly it. If you play for hours and hours and hours all the time, and you're clicking, 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 it can start to hurt. So I do that, and it doesn't hurt. Nice. And let's see what we've got here. Here we go. What is what promenade? Oh, I gotta talk to him. I gotta do Maven fights. I gotta do a lot on this character. I gotta do the um, the Fourth Ascendancy. So I'll probably just buy a uh, um, a gift of the goddess or whatever the, the the one I need for that, and go crank it out. Cyclone, you like Cyclone as well? Type of skill I've always been playing them. Very cool. Um, I think you're gonna like uh, Cyclone of Tumult. Um, as long, if you put the uh, thing like I did, where you did, you get phase run and, and 
withering step on there, it pretty much is a non-issue for speed then. And a lot of times if you are fighting something, um, you're kind of slowing down anyways to fight if it's a, if it's something significant, like you're you know, you're you're gonna grind it down anyways, so you're not really caring about the movement speed then. And yeah, I just don't think the less movement thing speed is actually working like they said it does, which is fine, but I don't want to tell them. <laughs> uh, I'm happy with whatever the penalty is right now, because it doesn't feel like a penalty at all. Which is cool with me. Oh, I'll get to that comment in a second. Shipyard map. Okay, I'll take it. These maps are selling for, like, even the tier, tier uh, 1 maps are selling for 4 chaos. I bought, I mean, people were selling them, and I bought them. So, you can sell a lot of maps, too. Just don't sell them cheaply, that way you're going to sell them in bulk. That's the way to do it. Minus one explicit, huh? Nice. It's really nice when you get the speed move, the movement speed one. And, let's do this. Breach, not, by, not beyond. <laughs> and... Nice. Easy. Pretty pretty relaxing build. I don't know. I, I don't see a lot of... I mean, I watch other people play as well, but um, it's different. Sometimes I'll see somebody playing in a, like a me melee character, and they're moving like... It's like like this... Like I can't even move that slow. <laughs> I mean, it's just bad. I'm like, it would drive me crazy if I had to move that slow. I can't do it. It's so... That's... that's Part of the reason why I play, well, that's all of the reason why I place um, Raider. <laughs> it's because I need the movement speed so bad. And promenade complete. Yeah, that's if it didn't have movement speed on this, and it's gonna go even faster. It's gonna be so cool. I can't wait. Oh, I'll take that crafting recipe. Minions. Look at that thing. Tempting to stand in the middle of it. When I get going really, really fast, I um, I even start outrunning those magma balls and the, the all that stuff. It's just really cool. Uh, another comment. Um, my first PoE character ever was a in Crucible. Got to level 84 blind. Then I couldn't res rescue him as I had no clue, and it takes so many re regrets just to retire. Just retired him. Nice. That happens. Um, as you get used to, uh, as you get used to dealing with, uh, finding out how to make coins and everything, or m make loot, these regrets are going to be so cheap to you. You'll be able to buy as many as you want. You can, you know, rescue any character at, at, at a certain point. And same, I did, uh, TS last time, uh, last league and Deadeye and got used to moving very fast and everything seems slow besides that. Ah. I did see somebody doing um, Tornado Shot. Um, it was a friend, and they jumped in with me on here, and they were ridiculously fast. It was like, and I was like, what's going on here? It was a little too fast for me. <laughs> and, but they were having fun. And let's do it up. I think I'm pretty much set on Salt Bite, I think. Lesser Shrines on Death. You got into Crucible like three weeks before it ended, so uh, he got retired automatically. Okay. Yep. I wish they wouldn't have this fire off in ta in in your hideout like this automated thing. I wish it would. They, they had an option to turn it off. Whoa, we got we got we took some damage there. Oh, well, that doesn't help me resist. I wish they would get rid of that one. Nobody, I mean, everybody is either resist caps, so why would they... I don't understand the usefulness of this. You don't run around not resist without resist, so it's like, why have a shrine that gives you resists? Don't know. Holy cow, see how he speeds up like that? And I'm not pushing any buttons to do that, it's just autom automated. Explicit modifier, nice. Oh, there's a saw fight right over there. And I'll take this one right here. I'll take that, I guess. Holy cow. There, some armor. I'll take that. And how much do we have now? Almost full. 
Not bad at all, just a few maps. If I had those all flames, the sulfate all flames, I, it would be two maps and I would be, I'd be done. Really nice. Oh, welcome to the stream and thanks for the like. I appreciate it. Very cool. Yeah, I liked Crucible League. I liked, uh, the, I didn't like a Lake of Ka Ka Calandra. I didn't like, um, I, I liked everything else. I liked Affliction League. I like this league better than Affliction League so far because of, uh, I didn't think I would like the automation thing, but it's, it's really powerful for my character. I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't pressed for sockets. I wasn't, I didn't have a lot of pressure for sockets, so being able to put four sockets on there with an automation thing has been a three I'm, and I might up that to five <laughs> I'll see it's going to be funny if I do whatever it turns out to be I think you could, if you could make war cries instant, I've never done the war cries but there is a way to make them instant on the, on the map on the skill sheet so if I make it instant and then it can proc the war cries as well holy moly this thing could be really prop powerful but it, it, it's, for me, this has been a buff, the thing where they took away the left click and added the automation thing, a big buff. Oh, Kyrick mission, cool. Oh, that was it. Call to arms prox war cries, doesn't it? Uh, y yes, it does. I have one of those, but I was, it, so you're saying automation can't proc the war cry if it's instant, if we have our war cries as instant? I think all war cries are instant now. Ah, you play on Xbox, so I can't tell how many mis misclicks I got me to throw into the stupid hole in the water, and where you couldn't get out. I didn't uh, magic find with. Okay, oh, with tornado shot, definitely. So war cries are instant now. Let me let's go check it out. I don't. Well, maybe they are instant. Let's see the tag. Um, war cry. Is it in it doesn't say instant at the top are there any blue war cries no um supporting urgent order so you're saying these are all instant but it doesn't say instant like this says instant this is oh that doesn't say instant either at the, as a tag so these are just interesting i'll have to mess around with this if I can tie that to that with with blood ta uh, life tap, then it won't be a mana issue, and I could throw one of these on here. That'd be interesting. I don't know. I have to figure it out. Yeah, maybe not. Thought they're thought I heard you. I heard that. I don't know if they're instant. It would be nice. Trigger melee, infernal cry. I don't know. Ancestral. Where's the war? I don't know. I'll have to figure it out. I'll mess around with it. I just want to do it on on stream because I'm, you know, it's clunky. Let's uh, oh, let's see how where are we at with uh, sulfate. View the chart. Almost full. One more map. Yeah, why not? There we go. And what do we get? Quantity. I don't care about quantity too much convert on death no uh okay you're saying no i'm looking at one now and it has 80 se 80 second use time not instant okay um i think i can get away with it here though if i come right is it war cry no longer exert war cries grant their buffs no that's not it uh there's war where's instant let's see war cry Where's war cries are instant. There's something that makes them instant. I'll have to, I'll have to look around and find it. I don't know. It's somewhere around here. But there's a way to do it, I think. And then I'm wondering if I do that with that. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. And we'll just go like this. And away we go. Those soft, those all flame soft light, soft light things were pretty amazing. They gave a lot of soft light. More than I thought. On a tier 6 map, from tier 6 monsters, they were giving out a thousand in one pack. Oh, this guy? Doesn't even matter. Whereas this is only giving out 652. Maybe I doubled it? I don't know. I don't think I have the doubler one. I, yeah, I didn't take the double one. I don't know what happened there. We'll find out. 
It was a lot, though. This is so nice. Ooh. We can throw that on our... We can throw that on our boots right now. Let's do it. Let's do it for fun. And... Gain physical as extra cold damage. I don't think that's going to work for our brutality. I don't know if it overrides it or... I don't think so. It might, because it's kind of like a, a secondary effect from stuff, but I don't know if it'll work. I'll re-roll that anyway. There's a lot better, uh... A lot better... A lot better, uh... Modifiers I can get. There's so many upgrades on this character. This character's, like, far from, like, a... Not a tenth, but I would say... He can be... Seven or eight times better than he is right now. Easily seven or eight times better. Faster, stronger. Last my last character, I had ten thousand health as a cyclone. I was the most. Uh, I had the most health as a cycloner as well. <laughs> Out of everybody on the league, it was a lot of fun and tons of damage. I, I could just relax anywhere. I could take hits left and right. Didn't really matter. It was fun. So that'll be the goal this time. We'll really pump the character up to see how so see how well he can do. Hey, welcome to the stream. Just grabbing some salt light and going back down in the dell to push some more levels. We were getting at 83, we were getting 530 million. We were just getting 400 million right now. So I suspect maybe about 400 million, 350 to 400 million EXP per hour down there. And we'll take these. Oh, one second. I see the comment. I'll get to it. I'm just... I'm steering around here. Oh, I attacked the green guy. And... Oh, I turned that off. See? that's I had that off the whole time. I was looking at it. Oh, no, I didn't have it off the whole time. I took, I took it off and I didn't turn it back on since I took the boots off. That's what it was. Oh, here's the guy. The boss. And... That was a long time. Okay. Now we should be good. Oh, one second. It said, uh, it used to be a keystone called Call to Arms, but they replaced it with Warlord's Call. I, I guess they did that just so you can't use them with the automation gem. Are you kidding? So they took it away. Oh, man. I thought it was over here somewhere. Is this the one? Yes, yeah, it used to say instant. No longer exerts attack. War cries also grant their buff to nearby allies. I don't like that. That wasn't nice. They added call to arms gem though. I could do um works like just like automation but for war cries. So I guess I could do the six link here and do a war cry automation thing right here, but then I need life tap. So I could I, I could do life tap. I could put life tap call to arms war cry and then have these so it would be one, two, three uh nope. It's gonna be a little bit shy. Um, yeah, it'll be a little bit shy. I don't know, but it only affects one wa one war cry per gem or per per call to arm to the call to arms. Okay, yeah, I I don't think I'll be able to do that. I think I can autom This automates all these things. This one gem automates all that, so I think I can get more on here and life tap. That'll get rid of the mana issue. See how that tip dips into the mana. I want to get that. I want to get rid of that so I can use up all my mana, and then mana won't be an issue at all. And I'll be, I'll move that over there. So I don't need the war cries. That's cool. And let's go back into the delve and grab another level real quick. Easy stuff. Oh, I'll put this down here. I'll put those away. And do I have any Eldritch currency? None. Okay, here we go. Uh, delve, subchart, and we want to go deeper. Let's do it. There's so many things I gotta upgrade. I don't even have my fourth lab done on this character yet. It's ridiculous. <laughs> He's gonna get so much more powerful too with this. It's gonna be nice. And then I'll get the other one. I'll have five frenzy charges at all times. It's gonna be really cool. Yeah, five frenzy charges. And about 30% extra movement speed. Uh, 30 to 32% extra movement speed, I think, around there. 
just from that. It's going to be flying. I'm at 140-ish, so I'll be at 175, 170, 170, 175. Oh, I'm going to reset my uh, EXP per hour. I can never use more than one war cry with call to arms. It, it causes them to share cooldowns. Ah, okay. Yeah, the same thing with the guard skills. You can't use, like, uh, molten shell with uh, um, steel skin, stuff like that. And so I just reset the EXP per hour, so we'll get a, a new update in a second here. I guess you could uh, alternate which one to use, but I can't use two at once, even before the change. Okay. I think I'm just going to stack up the, the instant automation ones, not Warcry, and see what we can do with that. I know I can get at least one more thing on there, and with Life Tap. So it won't use any mana, and I'll get one more instant thing on there. I just don't know which one I want to use. I've got Phase Run, Withering Step, and steel skin but i want one more instant thing on there <laughs> just for fun i don't know and we'll see it's nice not having the socket pressure with this this build doesn't need sockets or very many at all hey welcome to the stream and welcome to the stream oh this is a bad uh i could die here this will be my first death on the stream today if i die come on it's one guy that he does like some arrows that stick you to the ground like a bear trap. Well, he didn't get it off. Armor. Yeah, there's one of in this this event. It's one of these guys that does it. How do you reset your EXP per hour? Um right here. It's a on oh, on awaken POE trade. One second. You go like this. I just have it as a command. Let's see. EXP, right? Here. So if you type in in your on your what on your bar, it goes slash reset exp on your command line. If you just type that in, I have it on F6. It just resets it. Pretty nice. And then, so we're at 369, and we'll see. Oh, I wanted to go up. I think, and that way, you know, you can get a good gauge of how well your thing is, is how well it's doing. Yep, it's a nice thing. I used it. I use it a lot to find out. You know, am I doing something good, bad, or to, or just to pressure? Like the maps, I was getting like 140 million exp, and then we were pushing 400 million exp down here. So it's a lot better, and it's just easy, fun, nothing complicated down here in Delves. There's loot down here too, so. I'm not even into the loot areas. I'm just around like depth 400, 300, 400. It's not difficult and there's tons of loot. Well, let's get this currency one. I'm not even doing the side areas right now. I'm just focused on EXP. And at what was it at level? Oh, oh no, it's this one. Oh, this isn't the bad one, I don't think. No, this isn't the bad one. There's one that looks like this, and it's bad with the arrows, but this isn't bad. This is actually easy. And done. Riches, I'll take it. 40 of them, wow. Uh, we'll grab these items down here. And away we go. Yeah, I, actually, I have, a, I have my own program, too, that I, I did... And it's, it makes the, um, I don't have it running right now. I have to work on it some more. But um, it's an in-game loot filter. So it takes your regular loot filter from like Neversync or Filter Blade. And then allows you to edit it in-game in just with a, you know, like a graphical user interface. What I think I want to make it look like is the actual currency tab. Um, so make it look like that. And you click on Chaos and then, an, or click on let's say wisdom scrolls and you can then say hide them show them you know show only stacks of 10 or more and you can have profiles set up for different things a lot of stuff like that it it really it makes it easy to use an interface and change things on the fly let's say i didn't want to see any shields uh rare shields i don't want to i don't care about them and then you just go in there pull down the shields and and you can filter it by that it's it's really nice 
but I've got to do more work on it. But it was nice use. Ooh, look at this. Purity of elements. 37. We'll take it. And away we go. I should be the next level pretty soon here. Yeah, it just needs more polish and... Uh, yeah, it's a lot of work making it. <laughs> there's so much. There's so many item bases. The amount of work that NeverSync puts into his filter blade thing is astounding. But then... I just like it because then it still uses his and you can use that as a baseline and then you can edit it from there and all I do it, it just edits the file and it's all one thing you don't have to reload nothing it's really nice it's a command line there's a command like reload I forget what it is but it's like reload filter and then you name the filter thing and it, it just does it in the background and it's pretty cool oh this is actually bad this guy right here he can crush you in one in one fell swoop this because it's like they're charging him up. The guy in the ribcage. You just got to make sure you don't get hit by him. He dies pretty easily, but you don't want to get hit by him. Jeez, I, I still did it. I was. I thought I was just moving. I was right there. <laughs> don't do that. I knew it was bad, too. I was like, ugh. Oh, that was disappointing. I was talking about it. I knew it was coming, and I just didn't move fast enough. Um, Let's see. Um, we could go... I want to get that way, but... Oh, we could go down here. Let's do that. Yeah, don't do what I just did there. What did that drop us down to? 300 million? We'll get that back up. Oh, easy. Easy. I've died to him a few times, but I tried to... I thought I was on the right side of him. I, I, his butt looks like his head. I was on the wrong end. There we go. I knew it was coming to. That's so disappointing. It's like, don't... I should have... What I should have done is not even get close to him. Let him... Let him rise up out of the ground. Find out which it, which side he's on and then go to that side. That's what I'll do next time. Instead of pushing it and being near him. Well, I'll take the flares. And let's go see. On my other character, when I had 10,000 health, it didn't even matter. He'd, be, he'd do like 4,000 damage to me, but it wasn't a big deal. But this character only has 3,200 health. He's still new. We'll get stronger. Frost Link would be uh, useful for that. Uh, Frost Blink. Uh, Frost, L Frost Blink. Yep. Um, I could have. I could have just le leapt out of it. I could, I, there's no excuse. I, it was just bad play on my part. There's no excuse for that dying, the, dying to that. I knew about it. I was watching it. It's just bad. Um, part of the reason I play this is because I'm I'm just not that I'm not that really that good at the game at all. I would say I'm uh, my knowledge level is at about a C minus. Um, whoa. And my skill level is at a C, <laughs> as you can see. So I play this build, and it's pretty forgiving. That's why I like it. Well, I think there was a thing here. And I like it. Not too technical, pretty easy. And this is a tough guy right here. Jeez, he really didn't want to die. I'll just, whatever. <laughs> I'll, I'll leave it in the dust. Hey, welcome to the stream. I was doing well. I finally had my first death on stream. And I called it too. I go, this guy's bad. Don't stand where you're not supposed to. And I stood. Oh, this is bad. This could be my second death. Ugh. These guys are nasty. If he, if he gets me with a, that thing right there. He didn't get me. Nice. It's that stuff that drops and it like it's like a bear trap. It's brutal. Because then I, I can't spin and I can't do um, I can't do any of the uh, life gain on hit. I'm just stuck there and he sticks you there for like three seconds. It's a, it's not good. Nice. We're getting stronger. And let's go get that that money right over there. And away we go. 
Oh, welcome to the stream. If you have any questions, just let me know. Or if the vol I don't know if the volume's high, low, or if it's on point. If you guys let me know if it's too long or voice is too loud or too soft. Or the I have no idea. <laughs> Cause I don't I don't have the I don't have the ability to like see that or hear it. Because it's right in front of me. <laughs> and away we go. Sounds good. Thanks. I appreciate it. I didn't know. I figured it was somewhat okay, but it could be terrible. Who knows? I know for a good six to eight months, I was trying all kinds of different mics and different settings on the mics, and I just couldn't get it right. Uh, every mic I tried just failed, failed, failed. And then finally, I have this one on a boom mic, and I spent a good three or four hours trying all these different settings where you you modulate the the noise reduction the input levels the output levels all that the gain and i i went through uh it, it, at least 40 record 40 to 50 recordings until it stopped sounding bad like tinny and now it's as good as i can get this is as good as i can get it <laughs> i couldn't get it any better than this as far as, far, as far as the sound quality even on my first videos it wasn't picking up the first like syllable of the words so I'd say something like syllable and it would come out as illable <laughs> I was like what is it doing it and it was because of the pickup wasn't happening the, the you know there's there were so many settings that I didn't know about so I learned a lot <laughs> about mics more than I ever thought I would know it was interesting and here we go let's go do this one currency node, huh? Forgotten loot. I'm gonna forget it and leave it there. Azurite. I'm gonna upgrade my carrying capacity, because I can get six... I think it's 60,000 or 64,000? I think it's 60,000 is the cap on Azurite, or Sulfite. 64,000 would make sense because of the bits and everything, but I think it's 60,000 for some reason. I'd like to get it up that high. It costs a, it costs a ton, but last last league I did it. I think I capped out almost everything last league in Delve, which was cool. And abandoned riches. Yeah, I want to go a lot deeper too. I want to go around uh, around 400 is a good three to 400 depth is a good mix of difficulty with really improved loot and plenty of cities and bosses and everything down here but right now i'm just getting uh exp so let's see what we're at with one death chaos nice and some regrets what are we at 273 that's with one death and let's reset the exp and let's see it without a death um i want to go deeper so let's go this way deeper we go the more exp per hour we should get but i'm about to hit another level so let's just find out i mean this is fast this is really fast um i think with the uh, cyclone of tumult people people are afraid to play it because they think it's slow but if you set everything up right um and there, i can get it even faster i'm not even uh i'm not even close to optimized yet I've had people come in and they, you know, they're, they're, they come in into the same map as me, and the tornado shots guys get get ahead of me, but very few other people were at, like they're like I didn't know cyclone could move fast like that, <laughs> and it can, it really can. A lot of people just think cyclone is just a, especially cyclone's tumult is very slow, but it's it's not. I don't think it is at all. It's fast. I love it. And away we go. I got to get a better um, silver flask or the, uh, the the movement bat flask, one that refills even more. Because I want it to be. You see how those are up? The uptime's pretty good, but I want to get it as close to permanent as possible. Down here, it's pretty permanent, but I you know I don't want any downtime on the flasks. They're they they're automated and they're up almost full. Like this has been full uptime the whole time that I've been talking about it, but. You want to min-max those things and get them to the point where they're really up a lot. Usually it's with um, a mix of like a uh, 
you get a flask charge back on crit that helps because my crit rates a, it'll be a, over 50 percent and i'm doing so many hits it just m maxes out the threshold it hits the top end threshold for, for it so it, it's ridiculous there might be i don't know I, there might be even a better uh prefix that instead of that but i don't know that one seems pretty good and away we go it's pretty relaxing we should hit a will we hit level right here no i think we're gonna be a little bit no we did all right so what's the exp per hour now 357 not bad 357 million per hour and let's go deeper should i reset it again i could Let's reset it again and see what we get this level. We're 87 now. Let's see what how much EXP per hour at this level with these creatures, because it you know it changes the, the they they redo the formula as you go up in level. Ugh, I don't like that guy right there. He's bad news. I don't have any calling strike either, so I have to fully kill everything. Come on and done. Oh, here's the event. And it's done. That was uneventful. And where else can we go? Right here. Let's see. I'll be interesting to see what we can get at 87 down here. I'll try to focus and get the number to be as high as possible. I'll try to focus. <laughs> it's not easy. And... Nice. Nice. Do you guys um, ever look at your EXP per hour and, and pay attention to that, or just it doesn't really matter? I mean, if you're if you're trying, if you're if you're having fun, it doesn't really matter. I just like it to see how how good or bad it is, whatever I'm doing. The new maps were a lot slower for me, at least. And but if you guys know of something that gets 500 or 600 million EXP per hour at 87, please let me know. I'll definitely do that instead. Whatever, whatever gets the most EXP per hour, I want to do that one. As long as it's somewhat safe, because this is safe too. This is easy, good EXP per hour. If it meets those two criteria, I'm all over it. And away we go. I wonder how much the adorned jewels... The, we have adorned jewels this league too, right? They didn't take them out of the game, I think. Hey, welcome to the stream. If anybody knows if they still have adorned jewels... Um, go ahead and let me know because um, my plan is to use those again and you know it, those things were just amazing superpowers that chain yeah those were a lot of fun to use and I could go here let's do it the adorned jewel I love those things last league I think I don't I, I, didn't, I didn't get the impression that they took them out I guess I'll go back this way. And... Away we go. Yeah, I ended up stacking a bunch of life, and it was life and something else on them. And I ended up with over 10,000 life, 11,000 life at one point. Which was amazing. It made things so much easier. It was very cool. Whoa, easy. And I think I had... It was something life and I don't know what I stacked. I stacked life and then some kind of DPS damage on them. And then they get multiplied by 150% or 100 and I think mine was like a 140 jewel, not the 150. The 150s were really expensive and they were getting more and more expensive during the league. It's crazy. I think I got mine for like 70 or 80 divine. And then the price just kept on going up day after day. It would just go higher and higher and higher. And oh, I'll take that and that. Oh boy, here we go. Whoa, easy. This guy's a this guy's serious. This guy right here. I could end up dying down there, but I guess it doesn't matter. If, well, it matters. Okay, moment of truth. These things are not easy down here. Come on. I just want to clear this guy out. Look at this guy. He's tough. Okay, here we go. 
Oh, you gotta be kidding me. You guys are taking pot shots up here. Here we go. And run around this way. And this way. And this way. Drop this down. Easy. Yeah, I do I'm too squishy for this. Very squishy. Come on. It's so hard to click all these things. Ah! <laughs> Come on. Superior lookout. There we go. And next one. Yeah, the pressure is on for these. I'll drop a tote a flare down so I can ooh, overgrown map. Yeah, the pressure's on in these things. I don't have enough. I shouldn't be in here with 3,200 health with my uh, the gear that I have. Armaments. And that's not even a very good America bow. And a mall. That was pretty bad stuff. Loot for a city. Let's uh, light this up. That way I can get the EXP from them at least. Maybe. And... And we're out. Not bad. Hey, welcome to the stream. Just messing around. And let's make sure... Uh, what do we have? Not... We're out of flares now. And... We're seeing how much EXP per hour we can get down here. Oh my gosh, this is a mess. Let's just dump it all. This counts as part of the EXP per hour though, even though it's... You know, I'm not getting any right now. I'm trying to go as fast as I can through this. But this counts. This is part of the game too. And... Back in next area we'll see I'm wondering what we can what we end up with here oh could I spend a point here um what about this I'm gonna take this one right here there we go I sh or I could have got a multiplier too whoa easy I could have got a crit multiplier that wouldn't have been bad but this is okay too down here for for um delves it's pretty nice because there's usually a lot of creatures around you Especially on the Azurite nodes. Like this, when it starts up, there's usually a lot of creatures close by. Ish. Alright, here we go. And we'll look at the EXP per hour in like three or four nodes to see what it is. I'm guessing 300 million? But I'm not sure. Every time you level up, it, it makes it, you know, the formula changes so they don't give you as much EXP per kill so but I've been pushing deeper we're at monster level 78 now oh easy wow that thing whatever it did it like shotgun me and we're gonna go here and then that over there next come on what do you guys think it'll be at we were hitting <laughs> we were hitting over 400 million an hour last level so this level I don't know we hit 350 million I'm guessing if we can do 320 million it will be okay oh I'll open this up and anything good back here Ooh, I'll take the muscles two shuttering and I'll take these two why not and Drop a totem, or a totem. <laughs> drop a flare. Usually the majority of the time I'm dropping flares is just to get, you know, the kills in the darkness because you can't kill them unless it's light, so I'm just trying to boost the EXP that way. Oh, this is a, this is actually, I think this is a fire one. Fire based? No, maybe not. But it doesn't matter. Purity of elements makes things a lot easier down here. Oh, he wants to do that. One chaos? I'm going to do it for him. How did he, how did he, why do I have a, that thing for one chaos? I thought I'd turn that stash off. It's not public anymore. Very weird. I guess I'll do it. I don't want to do the trade, but <laughs> I'll be nice and go do the trade. I thought I turned those tabs off and they're not public. So why isn't it updating? That was a while ago too. And let's uh, invite them. I have an invite key or macro, but invite let's see if he wants it he does really for one chaos he wants that I don't even know why um 
Isn't this not public? Oh, it wasn't set. Public. Maybe I didn't uh, click that thing on there. Trade. That's probably what I didn't do wrong, or I did something wrong there. There we go. That's going to hurt our EXP per hour, but oh well. And... What else is still set? Is this one still set? Yep. Public. Okay. I wish it would just update automatically and not have the extra click in there. And, come on. Trying to click him. Welcome. View the chart, and let's go. That's going to hurt our EXP per hour a lot. <laughs> but oh well. He got his item. And now it should be turned off. All right. And... Oh, way we go. Last league, I did a lot of flipping, too, where I was buying singles and then sell them. I buy, it's pain, but you buy a ton of singles of whatever the item is. Even like Perfect Fossils, I was buying them for 60 to 70 chaos, but then I would sell them in bulk for 130 chaos, 120 chaos, and I was the only bulk seller. Of, I was the only one with like 10, 20, 30 uh, Perfect Fossils, and the guys that were doing the uh, really juice in their maps, they didn't want to they didn't want to buy one at the time because it was killing it was too much time for them so they were paying a premium for me and it was nice it was nice being able to buy them for 65 and sell them for you know double your chaos just really fast too early in the league it was nice like that later you know it's not as easy to flip stuff because there's less people but but it was a nice thing to do nice nice money maker and I imagine there's bigger flips than you can do than that. That was just one of them. You could probably do flips that are doing a divine each flip, even. Okay. And the next, next place. We're going deeper. Let's go deeper. Hey, welcome to the stream. Now, we did a trade. So what is our EXP? 313 million. And that's with a trade. 313 million per hour. We're, we're going to get that number up, though. We're going to get it up to 350 million. Per hour and this is on a cyclone guy that nobody plays this build nobody plays there's one other person in software trade that actually plays um, cyclone of Tamal um, but they don't even play it they, they let it's like a cast on crit build they don't they don't actually play it but as a pure fizz build and in solo southbound no one else plays it I'm the only player so <laughs> there must be a reason for that it must not be that good but for me, I'm having fun with it, so. But I suspect it's there's something wrong with it, but I don't know what that is yet. I played it for a ton last league, and it was a blast. Maybe other people are just trying other other things out, new new stuff. But I like this. This is my favorite build, so I play it a lot. <laughs> and tomorrow I'll have the uh, the path of building up and fixed with the next episode. I'll have a, another episode, and then go from there because this the, this is not built correctly right now oh out of salt light uh we could go here and so i gotta go grab salt light which is fine actually i might buy a bunch of those all flames those gave a lot of salt light then i wouldn't even have to do very many maps but i have to also do maps too so <laughs> i got a lot to do which is cool this game's really amazing um as far as an end game content wise, they're really no game comes and comes close. Like granted, they've had ten years to ten plus years now to put content in, but it's just amazing what they've done with it. And the ability to customize your own end game is really impressive. I really do like it. I I don't know of a, another game out there that allows you to do all the cool things that this one does. All right, pocked armor. This is usually garbage. And we'll go back here. And what do we get to spend? We got 6,000. We'll upgrade that to 12. We'll upgrade that one and that one. And this one and that one. And can we spend 800? Oh, we could do that. Light radius. Nice. All right. Where are we at? Oh, I don't want to go there. <laughs> I meant to go here. 
I wish they'd let you do slash hideout right here, too. It'd be nice. I don't know why they don't allow that. They should. Alright. So, I've got a lot of stuff to do uh, offline. And, you know, i got to take care of all this junk. i got to fix my build. Get some more gear. And then do a path of building for tomorrow. So, I think that's the, the, the way I'm going to head. And I will see you guys in the next... Uh, the next episode, the next uh, live stream, I'll try to live stream. This is the third night in a row, so I'll be on a, in the evening time again like this and having a good time. If anybody has any questions or comments, let me know about them and have a good one. We're closing in on 2,000 subs, which is pretty amazing. Pretty cool. I like it a lot, and I have fun with this. So you guys have a good night, and take it easy.